Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. It's a slightly different view. I've got some different things going on in the background here. Um, if you happen to see something that you want to hear about, shoot me an email at wcypodcast.com. Uh, anyway, today's uh, piece is about my first Masonic coin that I ever received. I didn't even know these were a thing uh, at the time that I received this. I was called out to do a presentation, my first one ever, uh, to do the Colonial uh, Pub Crawl presentation, which you may or may not have seen. I think Ezekiel Bates put together a great uh, filming of that, and it's actually uh, got some never-before-seen documents. Well, maybe you've seen them, but they're very, very, uh, kept very low-key. Uh, anyway... I didn't know what to speak about at this uh, particular lodge, and uh, I talked to my good friend, worshipful brother, Bill Hosler of the Midnight Freemasons and uh, Masonic Radio Theater, and I said, Bill, I don't know what to talk about. And he said, well, you should talk about something that speaks to both Masons and men. And I said, well, I don't even know what you mean by that. And he said, well, you should do something about, like, Freemasons and beer. Wasn't that like your... First, one of your first podcast forays is when you talked about George Washington's beer recipe that was on Midnight Freemasons. I said, yeah, that's a great idea. What should I do? He said, well, you should try this stuff. And well, long story short, I ended up writing a three or four part series for Iron Mike magazine in which I talked about these famous pubs that were in colonial America. Well, it turns out those famous pubs ended up being Masonic Lodges later on. So I wrote a presentation for it, and it's it's turned out very very good, and we've we've done it a, a bunch of different places. Uh, but anyway, after I went and I got through this presentation, uh, I was actually at a lodge, Pleiades Lodge, number four seventy eight, down in Westchester, Illinois. Uh, my good friend Stephen uh, was the worshipful master at that time, and they presented me with this coin. Now, let's see if we can get a good look of it here. maybe and the reverse was really cool Pleiades Lodge and uh, what it's got there in the center it's got the worshipful master Stephen uh, 2013 was the first time I ever did a presentation and it's really cool because it's Pleiades Lodge it's got the star cluster in the middle with the stars on there uh, a lot of people don't know about the Pleiades. What's so special about the Pleiades? Well, it's seven stars, the seven liberal arts and sciences, the seven known planets. And those seven planets related to seven archetypes, which, I mean, it, it's just so expansive. It, it even alludes to the seven angels that taught Enoch the seven liberal arts and sciences, which, of course, grammar, rhetoric, logic, arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy. So the trivium and the quadrivium. Uh, but it was my first time ever getting a Lodge coin, and I'll keep it forever. I've got um, probably on average of about 20 of these now. And what I love so much is just the story behind every single one of these. It's not like I went out and I bought these coins. You know, I traded these coins, or I got one for doing something special or visiting a Lodge. So uh, if you're a Lodge out there and you hand out coins, um, awesome on you. Uh, and I really like the detail. What you've got here going on is actually both different globes. Uh, typically, you see the mistake made often where uh, they'll use two terrestrial globes, but it should be one astronomical and one terrestrial. Uh, of course, we have the pyramid at the top with the points of light, the all-seeing eye, square and compass, and of course, their charter date of 1866. So they're an old lodge out there in Westchester, and they're fantastic. Uh, I've got lots of friends who came out of that lodge. I mean, they're all my brothers, right? Um, but I actually, I went on a trip with a few of these guys. We actually went to Detroit Masonic Temple together. Um, and it was just a really special time. So uh, that's it for this week. Uh, special shout out to Pleiades Lodge and uh, all the brothers out there. Uh, you guys know how to do it right. And uh, a special thanks goes out to Stephen as well, who's always been uh, a really close friend and a confidant. Thanks, man. Um, and last but not least, I, I also want to give a special shout out to Brother Alex Powers because, um, you know, Alex does a lot for Freemasonry and he does specifically a lot for history and Freemasonry. When I thought about this show, uh, this little idea of a show, I went to Alex and I said, is this okay with you? I didn't want to step on his toes and, and Alex was right there in my corner cheering me on and uh, I can't thank you enough, Alex. Um, you are an inspiration to Freemasonry 
and to education and uh, remembering our history. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you guys all real soon. Bye-bye.